insight as a practical example insight is a movement of self where one understand comprehend embrace a point if you react to something and then through a discussion or especially through a reasoning or debate or argument come to a conclusion understand that that is not insight you did not move yourself you were moved by external forces you're going to have to time loop and do it again whenever external forces events in your world take you to a point of realization that realization is not self-realization it is outside forces realization I mean common sense use your equality equation and therefore the same with insight you have you you are reacting to something that happens in your world you have a value judgment about it uh, it is normally something good or bad then it's not self movement it's a polarity movement it is a outside forces movement it is not self movement it's not self realization remember the equality equation always source the origin are you the origin of the realization or is it an outside force? If it's an outside force, what do you know? You're going to time loop until through your time loop the movement becomes a self-movement. And it's not dependent on an outside force to, to remind you that there is something fucked up in the world. And it's okay to time loop because it is about self-realization. So as long as I have to motivate you to stand up, you are not self-motivated. And therefore you can't be trusted because it's not you yourself that's moving. You are dependent on outside forces. As long as I have to motivate you to consider what's going on in the world and bring about the change and stand, it's not self-movement, it's not self-realization. You are still moved by outside forces. From that perspective, I'm an outside force. Therefore, I am acting on beings as an outside force so that they eventually through time loops can come to self-realization. First they resist and they fight back. When I mean, says, no, I, me, you know, all the ego stuff initially, that is what happens. And then once the ego gets to a point where it can no longer win, over the being, therefore the being is starting to stand up then we start to get to the point of being motivated by outside forces then after that you get to self-motivation but when obviously the being is still subjugated completely by ego then they will attack the equality message in every way possible and the ego will defend its position as free choice and as my right to be and uh, knowledge and information and energy and love and light and all of that the ego will do that because it uses everything in its arsenal to defend its position it's at war protecting its position it's one of the origins of war so some insight in terms of self-realization so you have a effective barometer about when is it real and when is it not so you don't fuck with yourself and uh, also how to look at the equality equation equation in practical application enjoy